and let's start today's session is about the balance balance diet what is a balanced diet how do we know that we are having a balanced diet and all these kinds of questions will be covered so before we start anybody would like to contribute his opinion about balance diet what do you guys think so we have one hand okay abdul sabad a balanced diet meat means eating everything uh, by everything i mean protein fat vitamins minerals and fibers the same i'd not eat more of one thing because uh, then it would upset your balance so how is it possible that i can eat everything in one go by eating veg vegetables uh, rice eat fruits such uh, things so i should eat this in every time when i said i should eat fruits with rice with vegetables uh, no meat. no 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 that's not what i mean okay. i mean in the wheat uh how do i say ashikil in english i mix my food i don't eat the same thing for a whole week or two weeks every day i eat something new one oh. day i eat fish the next day i eat something else the day after it uh, like that so i eat something new every day yes and uh, there are only five six dishes seven dishes maybe 10 after like 15 days what new should i bring no i start what, eating ham no the week uh, in the week then you repeat the same thing or oh i i don't know how to say it fish contains protein if i'm uh, not mistaken right yes, yes. and say this week i eat fish the week after it i eat something with protein i replace fish with something else else that uh, has protein okay so let's check with other boys thank you uh, abdul samad uh, let's check with sami so after sami we have yasin and after yasin we have uh, khalid and al hussein yes yes master yes what is your answer sami um um my answer um because what you say i think it is uh, the more you eat anything and you don't uh, stop and one foot to eat it sorry you have yeah this the question you tell us tell us the question you tell me the question and you tell me the you say about the balance sign what is a balance sign yes i think it is uh, um when you eat food you don't eat uh, one foot not not one food and yani today you eat masok you don't every day eat masok and yani you eat a fish you eat a burger you eat a um pabak you eat and yani you don't because your i can't uh, eat masok yeah. again i just eat it one day in a month in a year how no yeah and yeah no you can repeat it but not every day not every day you not can't have every eggs day, every day yeah because your 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 stomach uh, it will hurt you and you will have uh, some problems and you it sounds like my wife yeah, it will hurt me and i'll have problems uh mister can i see mine are you uh, you open yes. my mind okay i if i did then you can thank you sabi <clears throat> yes i'm um, sorry it's to eat less mom and you are right we will study this and alu said is trying to make a point yes alu said i miss uh, and um, uh not just yani eat anything you like anything you want but eat it uh, less okay i can eat less and i cannot eat what i want i'll have to eat what other people want i uh, know anything you want anything i want but, but i have to eat less this is the secret is to eat less to eat less what is less for some people uh, eating two pizzas is less for some people eating two slices is less so 
So how would I know what is less and what is more? More is like a whole pizza or a... This is according to you. But there is a friend of mine who says that two pizzas, large size, this is too much. Uh, one half large pizza is enough. This And one pizza large is less. So should I listen to you or should I listen to him? It is pizza. I can't hear you. Oh, Mister, your voice is... Is, can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, sh okay, so I'm saying that according to one person, two pizzas, large size, that is too much. One and a half large pizza is okay, that is enough. And one large pizza is less. So this is his scale. What is yours? Ah, four sizes is more than enough to me. Okay, so we will check with Yasin. Yasin, you have the mic. Yasin Gashkari, okay, he's here. Uh, less that Mr. means uh, you need to eat anything like proteins and fat and carbohydrate, carbohydrate, like this. Okay, and how would I know? In fact, Mr. Don't, uh, don't eat it every day. Don't eat. Uh, oh, don't eat every day. So we can fast one day. Don't eat. Don't, don't eat. eat every, don't eat every day. Okay, we will fast one day eat and we will eat one day. One day fast, one day yeah. eat. One day no. fast. You said don't eat every day. Like well, Mister, that. No, I didn't say like that. That means Mister, you need to you need to eat not you need to eat something only something you need to eat like proteins and fat and beans like that. Okay, so what should I do then? How would I know what is a balanced diet? Balanced diet, Mr. That means everything is healthy. Okay, good point. Everything is healthy. Very nice. Khaled, what about you? Yes, Mr. Okay, Nuri, you can send me a text message if you have another answer. Yes, Khaled, what do you think? Mr. You're raising a hand. Uh, yes, um, uh, what I think about the balance diet, balance mm -hmm. diet, it's about like trying to get everything in one meal, but in a small portion. Okay. Like you have like, you, your meal is about 100 grams. So you 100 have 100 like, grams it, only? Yes, mister, that, mister, I'm on a balance diet and that's how much I eat, mister. 100 grams? That's like one tablespoon or two tablespoons. Yes, I uh, know. I mean 100 grams of something, like not 100 grams of everything, like 100 grams of rice, and then like uh, like, a, like uh, a half chicken, not a half, like uh, a quarter of a chicken. The and quarter of chicken would be 250 grams. Yes, mister, I don't mean everything is 100 gram, like some stuff is above 100 gram, like rice is 100 gram. Okay, so you're really dieting at this age? Yes. MashaAllah. Very nice. So that's another point that you have to take things into quantity. So Abdurrahman and Muhammad al Uthaybi, Yaseen, you know, the last three people to ask questions or answer. And after that, we'll start the lesson. Yes. Abdurrahman, you have the mic. Sure. Um, yeah. Can I like just want to tell you what I would eat every day? So, okay. listen, you know, a balanced diet. It's like, I mean, you could eat anything you want, but but you still have to eat vegetables and stuff. But it's all about the portion size. So, you know I mean, it's all about the portion size and how much, like, you put. So, if someone offers you, like, three slices, you could take one slice and half or something okay. like that. So, if he and offers me one pizza, complete large size, so I can take half pizza. It's better to take the smaller piece. That's all I'm trying to say. Like okay. you can take it if you want this. Like you shouldn't starve yourself. I mean, good. I mean, yeah. Also, um, a really good diet would be like a really good uh, meal would be, either like some, some uh, peas, some green beans, some broccoli, some carrots. Okay. Good. Um, All right. So, so we have variety of food. 
yeah, varieties. Look, look, and Isma. And then at least like two pieces of uh, like steak or chicken. And like, wow, and then, two pieces of steaks, bless No, no, no. Like, <laughs> no, no, like two small, like this big, this big. Okay. You see? Okay. And, and then like a fruit, like an apple, some apples. And, wow, and yeah, shoya rice, a little bit. Shoya rice and people, some apples, like some apples would be five, six, seven apples are enough. Yes, yeah. In one time, mashallah, mashallah. And also, Mister, uh, it's it's you're not you shouldn't like you should put like just one like teaspoon, well, like one spoon of rice, halas, because the rice it's it's like I need the bread and all this. That's what makes you fat. Okay, that's a good point. Okay, I'll keep this in mind. Muhammad al Uthaymi, thank you, Abdurrahman. Uh, we are having a limited time, that's why. I'm uh, going to. Yes, Muhammad. Uh, about diet, uh, that you eat uh, healthy food and you eat uh, food, but uh, not in. Uh, not a big. You know, so, uh, the large, uh, large size. Okay, so we don't eat too much. We don't eat in big proportions. And we eat yeah. variety of food. We take uh, vegetables and fruits. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, so let's go to Yasin. That's the last one. Yes, Yasin. Yes, mister. So we can uh, use a lot of things. We can uh, use the, the, the diet pyramid, something like this. And... Um, uh, also, if you like um, foods that uh, are uh, are unhealthy, like noodles, some of the noodles that you eat, it doesn't have protein and you will never get full of it because it doesn't have the protein that your body needs. Yes, that is true. And it is junk food. And you always eat from it and you say to yourself, I never get uh, full from noodles or some things like this. That's true. That's true. So you have to eat some things that get you full, uh, some things that has a lot of calcium and proteins, and things that keep you healthy and good. All right, good point. So Yasin made another very valid point that we have to make sure that we're not eating the junk food. And yes, Al Hussein, you are right. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so all of you have a very good idea about the balanced diet. When uh, we were learning about the balanced diet, I thought that we would have to stand on a balance and then we have to eat. And we would balance ourselves. Okay, I've eaten 500 grams or maybe one kilogram or two kilograms of food that I've eaten. Is that, does that make any sense? I'm gonna lower everybody's head and then see who has to answer this question. Okay, Abdurrahman says, okay, you have the mic. Yes, Abdurrahman, do we have to stand on a balance and then see if I'm eating the right amount of food? Sorry, what, what, I didn't hear you. I, I couldn't hear you at first. I'm saying that do I have to stand on a balance, weighing scale, and see if I'm eating the right amount of food? I'm yeah. having 200 grams of food or 500 grams of food or maybe one kilogram. So yeah. I'm just standing on a balanced diet. Uh, I'm starting yes, on a balance. It's, it's very important to have a balanced diet. I mean, Ernie, you should like, and listen, what I do is sometimes, like, like dinner, I don't eat sometimes, kiddo, because... No, 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 you don't skip the dinner. That's a big no-no. No, 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 I say, I go like, I mean, just like I have, not like dinner, I mean, something very small, like kiddo. Yes, uh, small you can, but I, don't, I don't skip eat it. any bread. No bread at night. Yes, you can skip the bread, but do not skip the dinner. You have to yeah, eat yeah, even if eat, one like, date. There's a hadith yeah, on it, right? No. So yeah. it ages what, you what faster. I, meant was like I, I skip any grains and stuff like this. Okay. And sometimes I eat like uh, olive, olives, you know the olive? Oh, yes, olives are all right. Uh, olives and uh, uh, sometimes some turkey. Okay, good. <laughs> so you're taking proteins at the end. Yeah. There's a, there's a, I'm sorry, I'm muting you because Malik is also trying to say something. There's a very famous saying that you should do your breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and uh, the dinner like a pauper. A pauper means like a beggar, uh, a, a, like, a, you know, a homeless person. So you should eat in the end at night as less, as little as possible, but do not skip it. Do not like go empty stomach at night. 
because this is going to make you older and f uh, that wouldn't be nice. Yes, Malik, you have the mic. Yes. Uh, so here you should have a balanced diet because um, maybe if you're a good weight for your age, have a balanced diet so you don't go overboard or you don't uh, less you don't uh, gain less weight and, uh, and then you'll be less 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 which wouldn't be good for you, you have that to be, is true yeah. that is true so you have to be according to your weight according to your age that is absolutely right if you are obese above your um, you know group of level of weight then you'll be having trouble you're not going to be healthy and exactly that is the point of this lesson for today. So let's see the objectives. You all have actually defined the objectives today yourselves. You have created an understanding that what is a balanced diet, how much food your body is requiring, how can I conduct an experiment on myself or anybody else uh, Abdul Samad, the height and weight is really important. That is the first point we see. Look at we look at. Plus, the age comes in as well, because after 22 to 25, the growth stops, the height stops. So then, the age and height all together comes in very handy. Plus, there there are a lot of uh, scientific uh, rules to stay healthy. One says that. You have to look like a pear, uh, sorry, look like an apple. You know how an apple looks like? It's broad from the top and it gets slimmer as we go to the bottom. And he says, do not become like a pear shaped. You are thin from the top and you have a big belly at the bottom. So don't look like a pear, look like an apple. As long as you are looking like an apple, you are healthy. Broad from the top, slimmer at the bottom. Don't go the opposite way. Excess of any food nutrient is not healthy. This is the objectives. This is what we have discussed so far. So let's go to this. All right, who's going to read this for me? Okay, Yasin, you have the mic. Where's Yasin? You know, it is faster to, to raise a hand through a webcam. Okay, Yasin, did you get the mic? What is blast diet? Blast diet is compressed of all nutrients needed by our body. These nutrients must be in certain amount so all body cells can function properly. Three, it's, it's, it is needed to keep a healthy body. Four, these nutrients, nutrients should come from what? variety of food but nutrition requirements change according to the climate according to the to the age and gender right so good point uh, let me uh, highlight the important points balanced diet should comprise all the nutrients what your body needs this is what you have told me, like carbohydrates, fats, uh, proteins. They must be in an amount so that all body cells can function properly. Now, what is happening? Every single cell of your body needs those in a certain amount. And if they are properly provided, they will be functioning properly. That is called being healthy. So they should come from the variety of foods. You can't have one kind of food every day. That's going to make you sick. Not only sick over here, but also sick physically as well. Some people, they, they just go like, a, you know, hard and fast rule. I'm going to get up. I'm going to eat this in the morning, this in the lunch, and this in the dinner. It's okay. Having a routine is a good thing, but you have to have variety of food. You should change it on weekly basis or 10 days basis. So you can have a cycle of it. You can repeat it again. You can come back to it and then start again from the point level one. So we have a chat. What is this? Yusuf Bukhari, we, this presentation is available for you guys on Canvas, so you don't have to write it. But if you want to write some important points about that I'm speaking, you can do that. This will help you to you know, develop notes when you're at university, inshallah, or, or college, or high school. So 
nutritional requirements change according to the climate. If it is hot, you will feel less hungry. If it is cold, you will feel more hungry according to the age. If you are a growing kid right now, like you all are, mashallah, so you'll have to have more nutrients than an adult. An adult needs less food as compared to the boys of your age because you're all growing up, because you're all developing a body and you're all growing tall and developing muscles and bones. So you need more food as compared to the adults and according to the gender as well. So male usually require more food as compared to the female, even if they're of the same age, same weight and same height, right? But uh, if there is a different scenario that they will have more food, for example, if a woman is going to have a birth, she's pregnant, then she would need a lot more food because the baby is developing inside. So she has to feed her and she has to feed herself. If she is not having enough food, what happens? The baby stays healthy because it keeps on eating the food from the mother's body. The bones and the muscles, all these nutritional things that we have in our body will be dissolving and going into the baby. So it changes according to the age, climate, gender, and situation. So let's go to, let's go to proteins. Who's tired of reading? Muhammad Mufti. What is proteins? Uh, you want me to read? No, you can skim it if you can. Ah. Okay. Uh, the thing that makes you very funny. Can't and... hear you. Louder. Yeah. And can you turn off the background because the deputy principal, he doesn't like the backgrounds. Abdul Rahman, maybe he will accept yours because you're in a Disney world right now. This is, but it seems like you're still in the Disney world. You like the Disney movies? Have you seen Mulan then? Mulan is a good movie from Disney. Yes, teacher. Yes, Mufti. Louder, please. Okay. Mr. Routines is like, يعني, it comes with food and there is uh, another routines that you take it because يعني, it makes your body good and your bones and like this. Even it's on the food like in the meat and the soya beans and the eggs, it has routines. Even, يعني, yeah, protein is good for your body. Very low voice. Let me increase the volume. Okay, now speak. Okay, would you like to read this so that we can see what is okay. going on? Okay. Yes. Okay. Scientists estimate that for 10 to 13 years old, needed 34 grams of proteins daily. Okay. So this is the amount, Khaled, this is the amount of proteins that you can take. If you're taking more than that, it's still okay. It's not that you're doing a sin, Allah may Allah protect us. But this is the minimum requirement. If you are, you, you guys are in between 10 to 13, right? I think 13 is the limit for grade seven. So you have to have 34, 35 grams of meat on daily basis. It can come from the nuts. It come from soya beans, meat, eggs, and so on. Yes, point two, Mufti. Mufti, where did he go? Did he mute himself? Okay, we'll go to Ma'an then. Ma'an is raising a hand. Ma'an al Sufiani. Yes, Mr. I wanted to read. Yes, read, read. Point two. No, point two. This amount of protein should come from a variety of different foods. Right. I, uh, proteins are made of amino acids. These nutrients should come from a wide variety of foods. Meat, soya beans, eggs, and dairy protein supply. Proteins to us. Proteins, sufficient proteins to us. All right, good point. Now, uh, we have about 20 amino acids. Amino acids are like building blocks. You know, the, the uh, houses we are living in are made up of blocks, right? If we arrange them in a special way, you have a flat. If you arrange them in a special way, you have a palace. You can create a house, a home, different types of shapes. So it's all because of one single repeating unit, a simple block. 
So we have, no, this is uh, private, Muhammad Mufti. This is whatever you're writing to me comes to me only. So, uh, yes, you will read the part two. Hold on. So where were we? Uh, where was, what was I saying? We have about 20 different kinds of shapes of proteins. One, let's say, is a triangle. The other one is a circular. The other one is a square. So imagine like Lego. We have Lego blocks where you can join them together and have different kind of things. You can create a ship, you can create a boat, a car or a house. So similarly, amino acids are 20 of them. 12, we can make ourselves. Eight, we need to get it from other resources. Then the other resources can be vegetables, uh, lentils, beans, and milk, and meat. So those people who say we are vegetarian and we don't like to eat meat, that is bad. Not proteins have shapes. Yes, even proteins have shapes. The amino acids are of 20 different shapes. The amino acid is like a block. Once you start joining these blocks, you can have hair, you can have skin, you can have nail, you can have muscles. All these are proteins. And we have lots of lots of proteins in our body. Even the chemical reactions happening inside us are proteins. So Khaled has a question. Yes, Khaled. Yes, mister. You said you have a question. Yes, I, ha I do have a question. <clears throat> you said in the first one, scientists estimate that for 10 to 13 years old, I need 34 grams of uh, meat. Yes, and this estimate is... if I bring a raw, if I bring a raw meat, okay. then, and it, it's meat, and it, it is 34 grams. And then when I cook it, it becomes lower than 34. We didn't ask you to cook it or raw it. It's just 34 grams, you eat it. Can you eat raw meat? You can't. So we I are talking I... about cooked food, the eatable. Yes, Mr. Sir. The eatable yes, Mr. amount know, but, um, in proteins. That... It could be coming from the nuts. It could be coming from the beans. It could come from the lentils. It can come from the meat as well, even from the milk. So little amount of all of these, if they constitute together, 34 gram is enough for you. You're growing up, the 34 is sufficient, right? But if you can, you restrict yourself to only this meat, that's bad. That's unhealthy. That, they are saying that these proteins should come from a variety of foods because they have a lot of other things as well. They have minerals, they have vitamins, which we also need as well, right? Yes, I know there's uh, the varieties of food and we need to eat them too. But uh, if you take like uh, like this, if, like if you want to eat meat, you need not to bring like, if you cook it, it uh, if the raw meat was like 100 grams, if you cook it, the grams will be lower. Yes, it will be lower. But why? Because you cooked it. It dissipates in the heat. The heat takes away the water out of it, evaporation. And the proteins also get denurtured; they get shrunk. So your loss of water, loss of the vitamins, a lot of things go wasted in the heat. You're heating it. Okay. All right. So this is, you, uh, you're welcome. So this is uh, the point. I'll go to the next slide. And we have Al Hussein Nuri trying to raise a question. Okay, Al Nuri, what's, Yes. Just the, uh, the protein shakes, is it good for our age? Not at all. The protein shakes usually have a lot of, uh, you know, they put a lot of uh, stress on your kidneys. The proteins in the end, you cannot absorb all of it, has to go into the blood and the blood has to filter it off. So the kidneys get usually so stressed that some of the kidneys might fail. I have had a lot of students. I've been teaching for about 22 years. And even for the adults, they're not good. Anything which is unnatural, artificial, man-made, it's not gonna be suitable for everybody. It might be suiting to some of the people, but most of the people will not be able to properly digest it or absorb it 
and they have ended up having kidney problems. One of my students last year, he had his kidney absolutely failed working. He had to have a replacement of his kidneys. Both of his kidneys failed. So protein shakes are a big no-no, no matter how much they would advertise that this is safe and we have tested and this is uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't go for it. Take natural oh. diet, natural food, natural supplements. You have enough energy in all these food categories. And right. Mr. Um, Nesquik, Nesquik isn't a protein drink. It, Nesquik is like a supplement for the growing kids and there's, an, uh, there's a, also a research on it like Ovaltine, Nesquik, Milo, all these, uh, even the energy drinks, they're not good for your health. You can take it like once in a blue moon, maybe once in a month or twice, but not more than that. Don't make it a regular habit or diet or taking a daily basis. Natural, everything should be natural. If you can take milk, uh, simple milk coming out of those bottle, bottled milk, they are good enough. With the fats, they can give you enough energy. If you're working out, you will be healthy, inshallah. No, no side effects, nothing's going to be you know, bad. And excess of everything is bad as well. So you have to take in a balanced amount. You have to take everything little by little in little portions so you're not overdoing yourself. You're not exerting any stress on any organ of your body. Right. And Mr. What about the protein bars? Protein what? Is bars? It? Artificial. Don't go for it's any okay. kind of, no, it's not okay. Don't eat anything artificial. That's my advice to you. All right. So we have any other hands for the related question? Or, okay, Muhammad has a question. Uh, Mr. Well, can I read? Can we? Can I read? Can you read? Yes, please. Okay. Fat. Fat should make up 20 to 30 percent of your food. Two. They provide twice the energy as compared to carbohydrates. Three. They may contain essential vitamins. Four. There are two types of fat, Stage, saturated. saturated and unsaturated fats. Good. Processed foods contain high, high amount of... The, high amount of... High sats, amount of... Saturated fats. Saturated fats, which isn't healthy, and they... And, they, and their intake must be reduced okay hold on we are left for 10 minutes okay so where was i i was here all right no sorry this one okay so uh muhammad has read a very important point all of these are very important <clears throat> i'm sorry yes so first thing is about 20 to 30% of your food is made up of fats. If you're talking about the natural diet, I'm not talking about uh, the processed foods. They, the fats contain a lot of energy as compared to carbohydrates. Carbohydrates can give you instant energy if you're feeling low, but the fats, they usually go for a longer period of time and they have more energy compared to the carbohydrates. But if you're not moving around much, if you're not playing, if you're not working out, if you're just staying like a potato couch like I am, so those fats are gonna get stored in our body as fats. And they, there are two types of fats, saturated and unsaturated. We have vitamins inside of them as well. Now, saturated fat is actually dangerous for us. They're not good, they're not healthy. And uh, the unsaturated fats are really healthy. The example of saturated fats is the margarine. How many of you know about margarine? What is a margarine? Abdurrahman, what is a margarine? No. Al Hussein, no. Malik says no. Yasin, what's a margarine? 
Yes. Do you know what is a merge rate? I'm just asking. If you say yes, I'll give you the mic. And Sami just woke up. Do you know what's a merge rate? I'm just about to, it's a very common thing, but Alhamdulillah, we don't have in our markets. But in UK and US, it's quite common. If you go to any supermarket, you're going to find them in the butter section. Butter. It's a kind of a butter. It's being produced. Abdul Rahman, what's wrong? You know it? Okay, you know it. Okay, sorry. So I'll give you the mic. Yes. Yes, Mr. I know it's uh, the Marj... Uh, Mar uh, Shismu. Shismu. Mar I know. Mar Mar I, I know one. Okay. What? It's Marjorie. I know the Mar... Is it... Wait, how do, how do you spell it? Because... M-A-R-G-A-G-A-R-I-N-E. R-I-N-E. I think I know, but is it is it like somewhat? <coughs> <coughs> is up. it like yani, at, Do they make fish? Like is it like? Um, it's a it's butter. Like a it's huh? like a butter. It looks like butter. Exactly like butter. Tastes huh. horrible, but if by face you will not be able to judge by the looks. But if you smell it, it smells strange as well. But if you taste it, it tastes absolutely bad. And yeah, I think I saw one. Maybe I'm not sure because so I think I saw one. Maybe there I, are some margarine. I, I went to uh, London and I, I I remember seeing this like, street market or something. It's common there. It's common there. But Alhamdulillah, I haven't seen it here in Saudi Arabia. So they uh, they pro they pr produce it by a process called hydrogenation. They actually remove some of the hydrogens from that butter. And they try to say that this is healthy butter and it will not give you the weight. It is like a skimmed milk. Yes, Malik has a point. Yes, Malik. Mr. I remember uh, like maybe four years ago, we were in the supermarket and, uh, and then we were in the streets and uh, we saw this guy. He was making something. It had uh, it was a pen margarine on it and it looked, it was in a box. And it had like, it looked like cheese. Cheese. But, uh, when he had this type of spoon or something, he swirled it and uh, he would put it in these small boxes. Okay. Would... All right. So uh, my, my suggestion is do not use it at all because it's not healthy. And people who have been using it regularly in the morning, like for breakfast on their toast, they've had trouble with their health. So uh, margarine is one of the example of saturated fats. It's difficult to digest, number one. Number two, it's not healthy. It doesn't contain all the vitamins and the essential minerals in it. And number four, it's unhealthy, khalas. So unsaturated fats are healthy, which are like olive oil, number one is the best example. Number two is uh, the other plant oils like sunflower oil, corn flour, and um, all those other oils are all unsaturated. So they are good for you. And let's go to the next slide. I think we have two types of fat, saturated and unsaturated. Yes, saturated fats increases the chances of becoming, uh, voice is lagging. Okay, uh, has a question? Yes, question. Mohammed? Um, yes. Uh, today in my breakfast, uh, I eat uh, like a cheese. Okay, cheese is different than margarine. Cheese is good, cheese is healthy, all right. But uh, well, I didn't understand uh, some people it's not good. Like a cheese or butter? No, butter is all right, cheese is all right, but the margarine is something absolutely different from these two. So don't take margarine, I'm saying it's a fat. Cheese is uh, a different source. Cheese is more like a dairy product. Also, the butter is a dairy product, but they contain fats as well. But uh, the margarine is really, really bad. Don't take margarine. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to Khaled. Khaled wants to read. Yes, Khaled. Yes, mister. You, you said you wanted to read. Yes. Um, fat continues. There are two types of fats. Sat Saturated and unsaturated fats. Saturated fats can increase the risk of heart disease. 
Fish, nuts, and vegetable oil contains unsaturated fats, which is healthier for us. Fat contains two types of fatty acids, omega-3 and omega-6. Our bodies cannot make these fatty, fatty acids. All right, good. So we can make proteins, but we cannot make fatty acids. And any fatty acid which is uh, coming naturally, like from the fish, vegetables, nuts, this is all okay for us. But if it is man-made, like margarine is man-made, it's a big no-no for us, right? So let's go to the next slide. Carbohydrates. Uh, Samad, you're saying something? Yes, mister. The next lesson will start in a minute. We'll stop in a minute. Okay. We have okay. One minute. Um, mister, yes. I didn't understand. Now I need 20% of fat or 30% of fat? 20 or to 25. 30. 20 to 30. Minimum 20, yeah. max 30. Oh, okay. Right? So these are the yes. limits. Not less than 20, not more than 30. Okay. Right. So 25 okay. is the best. 42, 25, 28, 29 is safe. Okay. But if you take more than that, then you should uh, spend more time playing outside. Do you like basketball, mm. football? You know, football, where you hot. Football, hockey, swimming. Mashallah, good. Uh, so go for it. Play for about half an hour, vigorously, or one hour, as you much have stamina. Play it, and everything is going to be adjusted in your body, inshallah. So we'll stop the recording now.